What's up YouTube? This is Jay with Tap and Turn Gaming and welcome back to Deck Tech Wednesdays. Now, my deck installment for this week is led by a legendary zombie warrior who enjoys nothing more than to sacrifice the minions of his army to fulfill his own dark and cruel purposes. So, if you enjoy using the forces of death and destruction to put the pressure on your opponents and utterly murder them, figuratively speaking of course, then why don't you check out my deck that's led by the undisputed king of murder. I'm of course talking about Tymarit, the murder king. What's up guys, welcome to part one of my Tymarit, the murder king, EDH deck tech. Uh, as always, part one will just be the quick overview of the deck, and then part two will be a more in-depth discussion of the deck and the cards in it, synergies, uh, you know, combos, things of that nature. So, without further ado, let's uh, get into the rundown of the deck here. Uh, this deck is commanded by the King of Murder, Tymar the Murder King. I'll go over my land base first. Um, pretty basic land package, um, seeing as it's only a two-color deck. So, uh, first off, we'll take a look at my lands that produce both my colors, black and red. First, we have Rakdos Guildgate. We have Molten Slag Heap. Acume Refuge. Black Cleave Cliffs. Rakdos Carnarium. Lava Claw Reaches. And Dragon Skull Summit. Next are my, what I like to call my tech lands. Uh, I believe there's three of them. First up we have Urborg, Tomb of Yogmoth. Then we have Nykthos, Shrine to Nyx. And Bajuka Bog. And the rest of the land base I just fill out with, uh, with basics. Let's see, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 basic mountains, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 basic swamps. Okay, next we will go into the creature base of my deck. First up we have Endric Sar, Master Breeder, Krenko Mob Boss, Chancellor of the Forge, Worm Coil Engine, Pawn of Ulamog, Siege Gang Commander, Bloodline Keeper, Emrakul's Hatcher, Beetleback Chief, Grave Titan, Ogre Slumlord, Agent of Erebos, Fleshbag Marauder, Deathbringer Thokter, Grave Crawler, Geralf's Messenger, Malfed, Malfeld Twins, sorry there. Cemetery Reaper. Uh, Mogus God of Slaughter. Hell Rider. Perforos God of the Forge. Hell's Caretaker. Ink Eyes Servant of Oni. Shieldred Whispering One, Zealous Conscripts, Butcher of Malakir, Kakusho the Evening Star, Stalking Vengeance, Falcon Wrath Aristocrat, Lizolda the Blood Witch, Reassembling Skeleton, 
Nether Trader, Rage Thrower, Champion of Stray Souls, Blood Artist, and Phyrexian Plague Lord. So pretty, pretty hefty creature base of this deck, uh, but you'll see why in part two. Uh, next we'll go up to the instants and sorceries that I run. Uh, first we'll take a look at the tutor spells I play. Uh, first up we have Diabolic Tutor, Increasing Ambition, I believe that's the only two. So to the rest of the instants and sorceries, uh, here are my sweepers. Uh, Black Sun Zenith, Chain Reaction, and In Garrick's Wake. Next we'll take a look at my enchantments that I run. Uh, first up is Curse of Bloodletting, Endless Ranks of the Dead, Attrition, Oversold Cemetery, Dictate of Erebos, Malevolent Awakening, Braid of Fire, <clears throat> Phyrexian Arena, Goblin Bombardment, Blood Chief Ascension, and Vicious Shadows. Next we'll take a look at my artifacts. First up we have Mimic Vat, Rings of Bright Hearth, Skull Clamp, Gauntlet of Power, Skull of Orm, Nim Death Mantle, Illusionist Bracers, and Death Render. And lastly, the single planeswalker that I run, Liliana of the Dark Realms. Okay, so that is part one of my Taimarit the Murder King EDH deck tech. Stay tuned for part two where I go into more in-depth discussion of the cards in my deck, why I chose them, and the overall strategy and win condition of this deck.